The engine air filter has a very significant effect on the smooth operation and fuel efficiency of the engine. As a service rider, you are responsible to remove, inspect, and show the air filter to our guests, whether it is due for service or not, on each vehicle. Driving conditions vary drastically from vehicle to vehicle and the geographic region the vehicle may be operated in. For example, a vehicle in a dusty and polluted region, the air filter should be changed more frequently. However, a vehicle driven in a cleaner environment may be able to use the air filter for a more extended period of time. A clean air filter will improve fuel mileage, decrease operational costs, extend engine life, and reduce environmental pollution. A close visual inspection of the air filter provides the necessary information most guests need to make their decision. Therefore, oil stop policy is to check the air filter every time and show it to the guests regardless of the mileage since the last replacement. Another reason for checking the air filter at every visit is because we don't know where the vehicle has been driven or parked, so we will never know the condition of the air filter unless we visually inspect it. We have even discovered rodents nest in air filter housings from time to time. When you are prepared to remove the air filter, move quickly yet carefully. Be sure to thoroughly document on the tablet any pre-existing problems with the air filter housing and the surrounding area. Items such as missing nuts or bolts, cracks, or any other broken or missing parts must be noted on the tablet to ensure the guest is properly informed regarding the condition of their vehicle. There are a few basic designs for air filters. There's the circular style that surrounds the intake system. This is usually found on older model vehicles. The most common air filter is the panel style filter. This is usually found in a box-like canister on one side of the engine compartment. The conical style air filter is shaped like a cone or cylinder. These will also be on one side of the engine compartment, but the shape of the canister is usually round. Once you find the air filter housing, always visually inspect it for damage, then quickly remove the air filter. Use caution while removing nuts and bolts, placing them on the upstairs hotspot in the service rider tool tray. A consistent location that makes their retrieval simple and fast, but also ensures they will not be moved, dropped, or lost. Work quickly, yet carefully, to eliminate the chance of breaking any part of the housing or mounting pieces. Many vehicle parts, including those surrounding the air filter housing, are made of plastic. Over time, they become hard and brittle as a result of the severe conditions they are subjected to. Also, make sure you are careful with the air intake hoses, mass airflow sensors, vacuum hoses, and wires in and surrounding the air filter housing. These parts can be easily cracked or damaged when disassembled. Using extreme care will eliminate the chance of damage. When using a speed wrench or any other tool, be very careful not to apply downward force. This downward pressure may cause the nut to become dislodged or prevent proper tightening of the canister. Also, exercise care when reinstalling the air filter. Do not use excessive force or over tighten the fasteners, screws, or bolts. If problems do occur, inform your manager and the guest to ensure proper correction is made. A staff member's perception of when an item should be serviced or changed, like the air filter, could differ greatly from that of the guest. Therefore, it is critical that you make accurate and excellent presentations to the guest so that they may make decisions regarding their service. Never make decisions for the guest unless they specifically ask for your opinion. In such a case, be honest and give your opinion. Remember, we do not make decisions for the guest, we do not think for the guest. After removing the air filter, carefully inspect it, look for any obvious signs of damage, then determine how dirty the filter is. You must make certain you thoroughly understand and become very comfortable using the three levels of air filter presentations. Use precisely one of the following three options, level one, level two, and level three, to determine which presentation you will make to your guest. A level one air filter is obviously clean, not even mildly dirty, and would typically not be replaced. This means that there is no visible dirt on the face of the filter and no buildup of dirt in the folds of the filter. 
a level two air filter is mildly to moderately dirty. But if it was your vehicle, you personally would not replace it. This means there is no significant buildup in the folds of the filter, but it does have some moderate amount of dirt on the face of the filter. A level three air filter is soiled and you would definitely replace it if it were your vehicle. This means that there is a buildup of dirt in the folds of the filter. Oil on the paper filter element would also indicate a level three air filter, which should be replaced with a new filter. An important caution, once you have designated the air filter level status one, two, or three, never deviate from the presentation that corresponds to the level. Your professional decision of what level you have determined the air filter to be and its recommendation should not change when you make your presentation. Your recommendation for air filter replacement is based on your visual inspection of the filter. Of course, the guest will make the final decision on filter replacement, but based on your findings, you must use one of the three following air filter presentations. These presentations were designed by OilStop to facilitate efficiency in the presentation, as well as a confident, accurate recommendation regarding the air filter to the guest. If after visually inspecting the filter, you find that the air filter is clean and is not due to be replaced, make this exact presentation. Ms. Jones, this is your engine's air filter. Looks great. We'll put it back in and inspect it again at your next service. When you show the guests the air filter and recommended reinstalling it, instead of replacing it, you will build guest trust. The guest may be expecting you to try to sell a new filter, but when you don't, the guest will feel confident that you are honest and your recommendations are trustworthy. If after visually inspecting the filter, you find that the filter is lightly to moderately dirty, but if it were yours, you personally would not change it. Make this exact presentation. Ms. Jones, this is your engine air filter. Were you planning on replacing that today? When making this level two air filter presentation, you will get one of three responses from your guest. First, the guest may respond by saying, yes. You should then say, Ms. Jones, this is your engine air filter. Were you planning on replacing that today? Yes. Great, it's only $23.99. I'll replace it for you right away. Immediately mark the purchase on the tablet and retrieve the new filter. Show the new filter to the guest and quickly install it, being careful to replace all nuts, bolts, clips, and hoses. Second, the guest may respond by saying no. You should then smile and warmly say, Ms. Jones, this is your engine air filter. Were you planning on replacing that today? Mm, no. Thank you, Ms. Jones. I'll put it back in and we'll inspect it again at your next service. Third, the guests may respond and ask you for your opinion by saying, I don't know. What do you think? Remember, the filter is only slightly to moderately dirty and you personally would not replace it if it were in your car. Ms. Jones, this is your engine air filter. Were you planning on replacing that today? I don't know. What do you think? I think it looks good. Let's put it back in and inspect it again at your next service. By doing this, you build guest trust and confidence in our service integrity. In this case, the guest has exposed him or herself to possible exploitation, being taken advantage of. Just as with a level one air filter, the guest may be expecting you to try to sell a new filter. But when you don't, the guest will feel confident that you are honest and your recommendations are trustworthy. Sometimes a guest may then question you, wondering why you even asked or why you suggested air filter replacement if you didn't think the air filter should be replaced. Explain that your purpose was not to influence their decision, but merely request their decision and not think for them in the hope to make a sale. Also explain that different guests have different perceptions on air filter maintenance and that oil stop gives each guest the opportunity to make decisions based on their own perception. Emphasize that we never want to assume or make the decision for the guests and that whatever their decision, we will never pressure them otherwise. If after visually inspecting the filter, you find that the filter is dirty and you personally would replace it if it were yours, make this exact presentation. Ms. Jones, this is your engine's air filter. I recommend you replace it. It's only $23.99. Shall I go ahead and do that for you today? If the guest says yes, smile genuinely and say, 
Ms. Jones, this is your engine's air filter. I recommend you replace it. It's only $23.99. Shall I go ahead and do that for you today? Yes. Thank you, I'll replace it for you right away. Immediately mark the purchase on the tablet and retrieve the new filter. Show the new filter to the guest and quickly install it, being careful to replace all nuts, bolts, clips, and hoses. If the guest says no, smile warmly and say, Ms. Jones, this is your engine's air filter. I recommend you replace it. It's only $23.99. Shall I go ahead and do that for you today? No, no thank you. Thank you. I'll get you a service reminder card on that. Remember, even though you recommended replacing the filter and the guest said no, always respond to the guest with a positive tone in your voice, positive body language, positive facial expressions, and a smile. Then don't forget to give the guest a service reminder card with the price of the air filter listed. Also, when asking the guest, shall I go ahead and do that for you today, always use the proper voice inflection to help communicate your desire to serve the guest. Trail the tone of your voice upward near the end of the question. This will communicate your sincere desire to serve them with excellence. When an air filter is purchased, you must always show the guest the new air filter before installing it. This helps the guest see that we are indeed installing a new filter and not reinstalling the old one. This adds value to the service process and continues to build the trust the guest has in oil stop. When installing a new air filter or reinstalling the old filter, use the reverse process of how you disassembled the old filter for inspection. Replace all hoses, snaps, wires, and bolts. Do not over tighten air filter housing bolts or screws. It is very important to do this exactly right or the vehicle will have problems. Remember, when the guest decides to purchase a new air filter, do not throw away the old filter until you have the new replacement air filter in your possession. The air filter section of the tablet must be completed when you are finished. First, record the condition of the air filter by marking the appropriate level, 1, 2, or 3, on the tablet. If the guest decides to purchase a new air filter, make sure you have clearly communicated the price listed on the tablet. As with everything you document on the tablet, make sure your notations are neat and accurate so everyone will clearly understand your findings. Just like a vehicle needs fuel, such as gasoline or diesel to function, lots of good, clean air is just as critical to the proper functioning of the car, truck, or SUV. Indeed, the air filter has a huge impact on the power and performance of the vehicle's engine. Quite simply, when the vehicle gets cleaner air and more air, it operates better. Maintaining a clean air filter in the vehicle is essential to keeping the car or truck in top running order. The air filter filters out unwanted dirt, debris, and other contaminants that can clog up the engine and result in significant increase in engine wear and engine damage, poor engine performance, and poor fuel economy. Air filters for trucks and cars are disposable paper filters that can easily clog up, attract dirt, and diminish the air intake of the vehicle, which means that they diminish the proper function and performance of the vehicle. Therefore, air filters for cars and trucks need to be replaced fairly frequently in order to get optimum performance, cost savings, and prolong the life of the vehicle. OilStop inspects the air filter on each and every vehicle that comes in for service. You are required to inspect the air filter, accurately assess the level of its cleanliness, and present it to your guest with your honest and professional opinion using the level 1, 2, 3 presentations discussed earlier in this training module. Remember, once you have decided which level presentation you are going to use, never change it, regardless of how the guest responds. Your understanding and role playing of the air filter presentations should give you the confidence to gain the guest trust in your opinion on whether the air filter should be replaced or not. However the guest responds, you will honor their wish and serve them with excellence, humbly with a servant's heart.